G'day guys, it's uh, Kev here from Kev's Collectibles. Um, today I have a, a really special haul. Um, yeah, really excited to have recently um, picked up this particular book, which is pretty rare um, in terms of um, Star Wars comic books. So essentially, this is a um, uh, the Star Wars The Old Republic Threat of Peace Comic Con International Special Edition uh, Ashcan Mini Comic, uh, which was published by um, Dark Horse in July 2009. So remember that date, July 2009. Um, now this was um, actually given out at the 2009 San Diego Comic Con. Um, as promotional material um, for the marketing of um, uh, Knights of the Old Republic PC game. So, <clears throat> um, as you can see, it's a, um, my camera's kind of zoomed up, so it looks quite big, but um, this is actually a, a very small comic. And I will zoom out or move the camera back and show you um, the perspective compared to an actual size comic backing board as you can see so it's pretty small now um, the uh, significance of this and basically I purchased this off eBay um, not only because obviously it's a rare Star Wars comic book but because I really wanted to um, figure out what was actually in the comic itself so there's only a handful of people that have actually got this book and they've shown it on their videos but they've actually never shown what the interior is um, and it's been quite a mystery <clears throat> in the star wars comic book collecting community as to what's actually in here so i'm going to show you <clears throat> exactly what that is and shed some light on it so there's the cover it's like a, a chromium um type of uh material and it's signed by um alex sanchez who's actually the artist um on the series now he actually this is actually from his particular um collection um, i'll show you the rear as well i'm just going to be really careful with this because it's so rare um so essentially, <clears throat> what you can see there, this is the city of Coruscant, or planet Coruscant, and it's being attacked by the Sith at the moment, and it's kind of set um, around uh, um, 3,653 years um, battle before the Battle of Yavin. Um, <clears throat> now I'm going to show you the interior of the book which is what not many people have seen. Um, there is the uh, credits page. Now, look at this date here. Um, hopefully, the camera will get into focus. Um, see, it says there, July 2009. And here are the pages. And I'm going to be really careful. Now, as I was going through this, see my hands are trembling, um, I was going through this comic <clears throat> and seeing these pages and I go, wow, this looks really, really familiar. Just flicking through all these comic um, pages here. Just very carefully. Okay. And at the back, you'll see the advertisement for Star Wars The Old Republic um, PC game and um <clears throat> version number one now as i mentioned these pages looked really familiar to me so i, I went through my comics uh, comic collection and i discovered that it is actually uh give me a second this comic here it is the, essentially um, showing the first 15 pages of this book, which is Star Wars The Old Republic number one. Now, the thing about this, and I'll, and I'll show you the pages soon, but now 
this comic book um, came out in July 2010, and, and as I mentioned before, that mini comic book came out in July 2009. So what this means is that um, the mini comic book um, actually predates this comic um, by a whole year, and therefore I believe that this mini comic book um, is actually the first true appearance of um, multiple characters. Now, as I mentioned, these pages are exactly the same as the ones contained within the um, the mini comic comic book. But so you've got the first appearance of um, Satil Shan, who's this um, Twi'lek Jedi master. Um, you have uh we have just bear with me um <clears throat> pardon me i have also um satil sorry that is jedi master dal dal da -na nada or nala this is satil sham right um this is Darth Angrel. Um, and I'll move through here. Um, this is Jedi Knight, who looks like a kind of a monk figure. This is Jedi Knight um, hero August Din. Um, over here we have um, the first appearance of um, Darth Barris, who is this guy here, All right, taking on um, Satil Shan, and also the first appearance of um, Jedi Master Zim, who's this guy here, um, and also in a, in a hologram form as well, um, and the other first appearance is this guy here, which is um, the uh, bounty hunter Brayden, who's kind of hunting down this um, this Wookiee here. And so, as I showed you in that mini comic, it kind of stops here, this page here, and um, obviously this issue continues with the with the other remaining pages. So, really stoked to be able to finally have solved that mystery. Um, now, the last really exciting thing that I have recently picked up, and I just could not believe this. You guys won't believe it either. Um, <clears throat> so, I went to the local comic book store yesterday during lunchtime, and I picked up a, another collection, but um, that collection was dwarfed after I was also offered to buy this. <laughs> Oh my goodness, Star Wars Clone Wars number one, first appearance of Ahsoka Tano and Captain Rex, and it's actually uh, numbers one to four, all in this uh, wrapping here, and all for $39 New Zealand. That is just crazy. I, I, I paid and I left very quickly. <laughs> with a big smile on my face i i just can't believe it um and just to prove that i'm not you know pulling your leg um here's my my other copy which i obviously showed in my previous videos which were pretty shaky and pretty terrible because i didn't have a um a camera um tripod to to steady the camera with so but yeah um i just wanted to share that with you <sighs> unbelievable so anyway, I'm going to be really careful um, now and uh, pull these comic books out and, you know, bag and sleeve them. Um, uh, well, board and bag, uh, board and sleeve them um, and be ultra careful. So um, anyway, just wanted to show uh, you these two exciting things I've just picked up. Um, my luck has been crazy recently. And the other ridiculous thing is I've actually picked up two more amazing collections which I'll share with you in, in some future videos. But I just wanted to show and share these with you today. Um, I watched the um, 
episode two of the Mandalorian show yesterday. Um, it was a fun episode, um, but my thoughts were it was kind of a bit of a filler. Um, but there were cool, you know, uh, action sequences, but it didn't really um, add much to the overall story plotline, um, which was a little disappointing, but still, it's Star Wars and it was fun and entertaining at the end of the day. Um, so I'm pretty sure they'll end up on the um, the water planet in, in the, the next episode. Um, oh, sorry, and one last thing. Um, I completely forgot. <clears throat> so, as I mentioned, the um, the comic book artist, this is, you know, from, this is uh, Alex Sanchez from, uh, this is from his particular collection, um, as part of um, the, the deal for purchasing this, which I bought off eBay, he said he would do a sketch for me um as part of the deal and basically he asked who would you like me to sketch and you guessed it i asked him to sketch um ahsoka tano and that is his sketch there so i'll zoom in there and show you that which is pretty cool and i'll show you the back as well it's pretty cool kind of like seeing how comic book artists use this sort of like special paper and that's a signature there with some sort of date but um yeah pretty amazing so yeah that's the end of my video um i want to make a quick shout out to um <clears throat> uh lord sithley now i'm um, just recently got in contact with him but i just want to say uh give him a big shout out <clears throat> he's a real awesome guy and um a lot of his videos um, have inspired me, you know, to collect Star Wars. So I just want to give a shout out to him. And you guys should check out his channel. He's, you know, he's an amazing collector of Star Wars comics. Um, he also owns that um, this mini comic book that I just uh, showed you before. Um, he recently picked that up too. So um, I will leave a link to his channel um, below. But um Anyway, I also want to say a big thank you to all my um, subscribers and supporters. I'm nearly 100 subscribers. Um, so if you like this video, I really appreciate it if you could subscribe and, and a thumbs up as well. It really helps me out. And um, yeah, and looking forward to giving you more Star Wars comic book collecting content. Um, it's, it's been an amazing journey and I'm happy to share more books with you in the future. Okay, guys, have a good one. And I'll catch you later. Bye.